In this video, let us look into the general term of an arithmetic progression. That is, say for example, we've got something like this. 2, 5, 8, 11 and so on. This is definitely an arithmetic progression because it's got a constant number that is added to the preceding number to get the next number, right? The difference between the terms here is 3. That is constant. So definitely this is an arithmetic progression. What we're looking at in this video is to how do you like define any given term of an arithmetic progression you know say for example if you want to save time and find the 90th term of this arithmetic progression so what is it going to be if you want to find the 25th term of this arithmetic progression what should it be i mean what what is it you know you don't have to like waste time you know like adding three every time and just keep going on there should be a certain term certain formula to find that so that's what we're going to look into and that particular general term is given by a n which is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so where a n is any term right any term you know what is the value any terms value rather it can be the fourth term the fifth term the sixth term and so on and a is the first number of an arithmetic progression of an AP and then we've got n as the term number n is the term number you know it can be a5 so that's gonna you know you're gonna put 5 here that's the term, the term number that's a fifth term of an arithmetic progression the 17th term of an arithmetic progression and so on and then D is as we all know is the common difference that's quite important as far as an arithmetic progression is concerned that's the one that's going to determine whether the given see a uh, sequence of numbers is an arithmetic progression or not so this is the general term of an arithmetic progression so let me quickly give you an example or first of all let me you know uh, just write this in terms of words you know it's going to look something like this uh, let me write it uh, here yeah general term of an AP equals the first term the first term that is A plus the term number whichever term you're looking for the term number minus 1 times the common difference so this is what is going to give you the value of any term of an arithmetic progression right so I'm, I've, I've just written the same formula in terms of the words so say let me take a quick example so say for example we've got uh, 4 9 14 19 24 29 and so on so say for example you want to find the tenth term of this so you're going to write a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d so you need the tenth term right so replace n by 10 so a 10 equals a is 4 in this case and n is 10 and the d is you can see 9 minus 4 is 5 14 minus 9 is 5 19 minus 14 is 5 so it is 5 so you just solve this 4 plus 9 times 5 which is 4 plus 45 so the tenth term of this given arithmetic progression is 49 you know so it is really going to be helpful say for example if you want to find the hundredth term or you know 150th term and so on such large numbers so that's when the general term of an arithmetic progression is going to be put into real use so that's the end of this topic as well as this video i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on the general term of an arithmetic progression